dirty. But I'm not here to speak political. This conference is about God yeah. and what he wants for this world. That's why. And what he wants for this world is for his children to come back willingly to him. Because when God gave Adam and Eve to this world, he gave them choice. Yeah. He gave them the choice to make the right decisions, whatever decisions they wanted to make. And it's unfortunate, but they made the wrong choice when they took the apple from the tree of life. And it's carried down upon all of us, their sins. Mm -hmm. And each and every one of our individual sins they are a burden each of us have to carry. <laughs> but that burden can be released all right. as long as we give it all to God. Yeah. As long as we repent to God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because no matter what we do on this earth, no matter any decision that we've made, God has always been in the midst. When families have been separated, God has been in the midst. Mm -hmm. When families get into conflict with each other, when people get into conflict with each other, God is still in the midst. Yeah. Even when you seem like everything is going wrong and you're all alone in this world, it seems like there's no one on your side without a personal gain. God is still in the midst. Yeah. All you have to do is accept it. Let go of your worries. Let go of your struggles. Let go of every fear that you may have going day in and day out. You may be wondering, when am I gonna what am I gonna do to pay the next day's bill, the next month's bill? What am I gonna do as I go through college? and struggle to pass the next exam. What am I gonna do to support my family and support my children when they may not even be working to reach out and support themselves? What am I going to do when I see injustice in this world and it seems like I'm not capable of fixing anything? It's not in our hands to solve the problems of this world. Because, as I said at the beginning of this, God gave us all choice. And people have to make a choice to come to him. It's not an easy road. Every person has an individual journey. Each person takes time in the spiritual journey to come to God, to know him, to love him, to speak to him as a friend or as simply as I'm speaking to you all right now. And My man. with that conversation, you slowly <coughs> get to know him more. You know his will by reading his word. You yeah. grow to hear him more and more the more you pray. And when the good things happen, you're the first person to stand up and praise him. Even when the bad times happen, yes, you're still there to praise him because yes. those bad decisions, those bad situations, they're all here to strengthen you yes. for what he has next on this walk. And there will be times, there will be times that we will fall. On this day, on this day of Martin Luther King's birthday, he fell so many times as he was working to reach equality for every man, every woman. No matter the race, the color, the gender, he walks forward so that way we may all sit here together united as one people, not just as white, black, Asian, as one people. Because God does not look at color. God looks at his children for who they are and what they've done individually.
So as I come to a close, I implore you all to carry on through this year of 2020. No matter what struggles happen, no matter what setbacks, even when you're worried, when you're afraid, make sure you keep your eyes on God. Amen. Pray to him, fast for him, share his message to the people, no matter what reception you may have in return. Amen. Amen. Yes. I am prophet of the rice, and I still have a dream that will all come back to God as his children. Amen. Amen.